Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, doing things a little differently. I got uh, Chase behind the camera now who's filming some things and we're gonna try to do this uh, a little differently. But uh, anyway, so we are we are calling this the uh, Project Phoenix now, um, which is kind of fitting to uh, how this uh, the project's kind of gone through its up and downs. And so uh, basically it's the, the blade being reborn again into its new body and new shape and uh, adding on some new tweaks and design features and just fixing the things that we'd have uh, time to get around to before. So uh, with that said, I'm gonna show some things about the car that we're working on now. Uh, in the last video, you guys saw that we stripped all the uh, wrapping off the car and uh, threw in some time-lapse stuff with some track footage as well. And now we're going to uh, finish taking the rest of the body apart. We've already started and you can take a look at that. So over here, follow me, and you can kind of see the inside of the car which is fully gutted uh, and it's a pretty big mess so there are uh, basically you know nothing in the car as far as any of the interior and all of that is removed so all the wiring harness is all over there and we removed the uh, suspension and all of the uh, push rod suspension setup and then we've cut the uh, floorboard out as well so uh, one of the big things that we're going to do that we're going to take on as a uh, kind of a big project is that um, we're going to basically we're going to uh, redo the rear chassis part that's holding on the suspension so uh, that's going to allow us to have more trunk space and we should be able to increase the trunk space about six inches uh, total and get an extra six inches of depth out of the trunk and then you know increase the uh, center of gravity and lower it down by uh, taking the suspension and lowering it down as well. So if you look over here again in the, uh, the chassis part, you can see this big giant um, kind of tubing. This is the two by four stuff that we use to kind of mock everything up with the suspension cradle that's sitting underneath this. This is really for mock-up purposes and uh, did this on purpose so that it'd be easy to change out the rear end and kind of experiment with things while keeping it uh, easy to, uh, uh, in, in time-wise also, just to keep the time more efficient for making changes and tweaking things. So this was something that I knew was going to go away at some point. So uh, you can see that the rear end is down in this area and from the top of the rear end to the top of this bar is what we're talking about as, as far as space-wise. I mean, obviously we'll have a little bit of space over the rear end, uh, but we'll end up taking out, you know, a good, five, six inches of space or of, 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 uh, of depth and then reducing and making right above the uh, rear end and uh, the you know, suspension pivot points, the, uh, the bottom of the trunk. And then that's gonna lower all of our shocks and the rest of our uh, uh, suspension stuff down further. So that's gonna you know, decrease the center of gravity back here and it's gonna clean up a lot of this extra weight. So we'll probably save or lose you know, another uh, 50, 60 pounds, maybe even more in just metal alone. It kind of depends on how much metal we have to add back uh, to the structure uh, for holding everything in. So we're going to do more of a direct mount set up to the, uh, to the cradle system that's in place now. And then we end up lowering this uh, fuel tank or fuel cell down as well and kind of replacing it in a little bit closer to the rear end, a little bit further from the back of the car because it's just in a temporary location at this moment. Uh, and then up front, you know, that's kind of what it looks like. It's all gutted. And you can see, you know, where the transmission is and uh, pretty much how short the drive shaft is. Uh, so it's kind of a mess to, to really make out right now, but you uh, get the idea. So, um, so with that, the, uh, the next big thing is we're going to take the body and we're going to raise the body up off the ground <coughs> or off the uh, chassis. <laughs> it's already off the ground. Uh, and we're going to raise the body two more inches and that's gonna give us more headroom on top. And then it's gonna give us, allow us the ability to open up the fender wells larger so that we can have larger tires and, uh, and just a more, I don't know, natural uh, fitting tire location kind of thing. That's right now it's a pretty tight fit for our wheels and tire selection. And this will just allow people to, to have more of a, a wider variety of tire sizes uh, from whether they're gonna run like uh, race slicks or because they're kind of tall <clears throat> and then uh, and then or the uh, lower profile you know like Pirelli tires we had before so anyway um, that's going to be the big thing and then 
at the same time we're centering the the uh, the body onto the chassis. It's a little it's a little off. It's very centered in the back, but up front uh, it's it's not it's off a little bit. So basically, we have about a quarter inch of uh, of uh, I don't know how you say it exactly, but you know the body is is over to this uh, to the left side to the driver's side about a quarter of an inch, and that's really in like a location about here, but by the time that, that quarter of an inch translates up to the front, it's off by like an inch. And so it, it really, uh, it, you know, extends the, uh, the, the offset quite a bit up front. So what we're doing is we are uh, making some, some uh, changes to the body to move it over. And right now we've already got it moved over a little bit. So I have a little place marked on the chassis that kind of gives us an indicator of about how much we need to move it. So this is about right. We're really only looking about going about a half inch in this area to a three quarters of an inch really. And that's all that it needs to move. And then up in the front, this piece, which is our the front clip, is going to need to move over uh, this direction about, uh, about I don't know, um, I guess we're gonna have to kind of see. So we're gonna have to move the center section first and then see where everything starts lining up. So. We're gonna end up having to find the center line to the uh, chassis, and we're gonna end up snapping a cord or a, a, a kind of a, a string on the ground, and then that's gonna line up to some center line marks that I've already put on the chassis when we built it, and then we can go from there to know exactly where our, our center is, and then use that to help center the, the body on the car along with the front end and get everything just right. So. Uh, so that's going to help out, and then especially when we get our new panels made in CNC, uh, those are going to be you know, more perfect on each side and help us be able to orientate those on the car uh, the best way. So that's kind of what we're working on now, and uh, really we're going to start disassembling the car more and start working on raising the car up. I'll do some time-lapse video and, and then show you guys you know, the, the whole process of what we're doing with the time-lapse stuff. And, and then, you know, you can see it from there. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.